Hello and welcome back to Hammer Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to do a raid one using MDADM. So let's get started. So first off, you're going to want to install it, uh, MDADM. So sudo app get install MDADM. Um, for me, I'm just going to come back with, you know, I've got the newest packages, so I've already installed it. So what's going to happen is when you hit it, it's going to ask you if you want to install it just you know hit Y or whatnot for yes and then let the continuation go it'll prop up prompt up a window just keep it the just keep it default so just uh, tab to so you can hit OK and then you should be able to have it finish the installation once that's finished you want to do MDADM dash create verbose dash dev dash md0 this will be the new unique not unique but it will be the new identifier for your new arrayed array so then we're going to go to level or we're going to put in level mirror raid uh, dash devices equals two dash uh, I'm going to do a little uh, copy and paste in nothing wrong with it so I'm just gonna copy the two drives here uh, as you can tell they're just two USB drives you can do it with hard drives you know it's just uh, I had two USBs lying around so I just thought I'd demonstrate with two USBs so once you get the two uh, uh, unique identifiers for the flash drives um, if by chance you don't know where to find disk uh, in Ubuntu just put in disk and it should just come up saying disks or it could say you disk utility um, because right now it's uh, my U Ubuntu look is not the same because I've got new mix on it so once you do that hit enter uh, then it'll just come up and prompt you do you want to continue with this right away and just click yes and now it's started so right now it's not going to show anything happening the only way you can tell if it's doing stuff is using the disk utility so as you can see it's got a raid one here and it says it's not done yet so what you're just gonna want to do is just wait for it and I will so once that oh it might be done already oh hello so it was so it was done faster than I thought it would take or it was done quicker than I thought it would be for showing the information so now it's just saying it's got seven or eight minutes um, once you're done once you've done that you've got your new array all you have to do is mount it you know just uh for example if you had you clicked on this usb or whatnot when it wasn't being used it have a little play button so all you want to do is hit that play button it'll mount the new raid array and you should be up and running so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe all that doobly-doo in the bottom section and i will see you all later.